see is a uh, Acura NSX over there to my left that black car let's see if I can zoom in on it but uh, this is one of my all time favorite cars besides the Lambo got a 300 pulling up there but anyway all right what's good y'all already know who it is it's your boy Hemi John hollering back at you with another video so in today's Mopar Monday this is what we're going to be getting into we are going to be replacing this camshaft sensor it's always some videos uh, that have been made on this already it's already some videos I should say that's been made on this already but of course you know I got to do a Hemi John style so this is what we got to do we got to get this thing out of here I went and picked up a replacement at the local AutoZone but let me just tell you this is why I'm replacing it on the way home from the car show uh, my check engine light came on and it, the vehicle it ran great uh, my Magnum Maggie <laughs> Maggie the Magnum she ran great until we got on the other side of Chattanooga and then my check engine light came on uh, but the car still you know ran fine but it threw a code and so I'm gonna be replacing my camshaft sensor and my crankshaft sensor uh, crankshaft position sensors so um, but the other sensor, the crankshaft position sensor is actually located underneath the car, uh, by your starter. So you're going to have to do a little more work to get it out. So stay tuned for that. I won't be doing that also in this video, but anyway, I'm just going to get into it. Uh, you're going to need, of course, your handy dandy socket. And I believe this is, let me see. What my socket size is. I want to say it's a number 10. Let me look. My stuff is faded out pretty bad. I want to say it's a number 10, but if, if not, uh, that's my fault on that. But there's really nothing to it. Just go in here and loosen it up. that and you'll be replacing this in no time but I'm gonna get this out and then I'll holler back at you guys and I'll get started on the other sensor all right okay and I'm back guys so I got the boat out there and should just come right out so there it is and then make sure you got the exact same part that matches up and it does so Slap it back in and tighten it back down. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. So uh, I'll be back when I get started on the other part. All right. All right, y'all. So I'm back and I am getting the crankshaft sensor put in. Uh, well, actually, I'm removing the bolts to it. You're going to need a 15 millimeter socket and a uh, uh, all right, so I'm back. I'm just wrapping up this video. Got the part changed out. Like I said, you have to move your starter out the way uh, to get to this sensor. Let's see what we got. And no check engine light. That's what I'm talking about. So this is your boy, Hemi John. Hope you're having a safe and enjoyable week. Be safe. Take care of your family. Take care of yourself. Holla at your boy. Peace.